Welcome back. Whether you work in a formal, <clears throat> excuse me, formal office environment or your job lends itself to a more laid back style, we all have a work wardrobe. Stylist Rebecca Rose quickly joins us now with some options no matter what your job. Good morning, Rebecca Good Rose. Morning. Great to have you back with us. Thank you. Delighted to be back. We mentioned that a lot of offices will have stipulations on what you can and can't wear. The Absolutely. usual, I suppose, play safe is the semi formal style. Yes, exactly. So today I want to incorporate different looks for all the occupations that we have out there, whether it's formal, solicitor, kind of really formal attire accountant but then we also have looks for maybe a teacher or a tech company as well so something hopefully for everyone lovely we're going to start off with Ursula and I suppose now is the time to buy as all of the autumn trends are coming on board absolutely there's plenty of rich pickings and you know what it's with autumn just here with us I want to incorporate all those autumnal colors and this is what we have here on Ursula today so first of all, we we'll start with the hairband. As you know, it's a huge trend at the moment. We're all wearing them. They're great, just a little piece to pop on the head, even whip the hair back when the hair up, you know, on those days where you're rushing out the door. They're just a little handy wee number to have. Um, and then we have the necklace. And layered necklaces are a great piece as well to have in the wardrobe. They elongate the neckline, and you can have them in silver and gold, and just depending on what way you, your colour tone is for the outfit. And I love the gold with the browns here, as you can see. I love that you've added the trench coat. It's been around for years and years, Absolutely. not going anywhere, and so smart. It's going nowhere. You're going to see this for years to come. Um, great piece if you're running from office to office for meetings. It's waterproof. You can throw it on and it's, as you say, classic and timeless. And just it has, it has its own belt, but again, you could change it up and put your own belt on that to, to, to incorporate a different look. Then we have the blouse, and that is from the new collection with H&M, the new collaboration that they're doing with Richard Allen. And they have like uh, shirt dresses and little blouses, and this is a great little tuck and piece. And it's quite oversized as well. Um, so really, really comfortable, especially you want to be comfortable when you're in the office. So this is a great look. And then we went with the skirt and again it's from H&M in the ILEC shopping centre beautiful piece love the button detail to bring out the blacks and the browns that we have in the whole look so is um, the black and brown combination a nod to the latest op art trend well yes exactly that you were talking about last week absolutely um, and then you have the button detail which again will elongate the leg and the body and we've just finished it off with the bag and it's black obviously to, to match with the shoes but as you, if you can see the inside of the bag it has that brown colour as well to take out the whole the whole brown and I black love this look Rebecca Rose and I think that it's probably very good value for money in that that shirt would be equally as lovely with a jumper over it and a pair of trousers and the skirt you get so much wear out of. Absolutely and this whole entire outfit um, comes under 170 euro. Okay, so, so you will, if you're wearing that skirt a couple of times a week with different Mix and blouses, matches. jumpers. You, you'll be able to pull it out year after year. That'll never date. That pencil skirt's great for a teacher look or something, you know, something like that, or okay. even an office. So what about the lads then? Here's Carl. So lads, this is a very formal look. So this is maybe your more solicitor, accountant kind of look. But um, we want to, I want to showcase the, the navy and the grey. And I love this look. I think it's classic, again, and timeless. And you know what? An overcoat is something that a man should have in the wardrobe because, again, another, it's like the trench coat. This coat will never date, especially in navy. Um, it's beautiful wool detail and it's from Debenhams also in the ILEC shopping centre. And if you are buying an overcoat how important is getting the size right especially on the shoulders? Absolutely it's key um, but if you pop into Debenhams they're really good help they're really helpful in there um, and they'll, they'll help you out with whatever questions you have. Um, so then we have the suit and the suit again is from Debenhams but I've accessorised it with the beautiful polka dot tie um, and it's from River Island but I love the bit of polka dot to bring out the blue check that's in the suit teamed with a navy belt and then your navy shoes and your polka dot socks as well to finish off the whole look and just ties it up really well together but again this is your formal look for something like more serious like your solicitor kind of kind and of obviously role. suits are an investment piece you can spend an absolute fortune on them so how important is it that perhaps you'd be able to wear that blazer with a pair of jeans at the weekend absolutely and because it is that kind of that gray it will go with so much you'll go with your navies you have your pipe and your blue your navy piping in that so it'll go with your jeans as well if you want to just go with a more casual look so absolutely timeless and a great great fit um from Devon really like that coat. It's very yes. smart, the navy grey combination. Isn't something. it? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Finally, we have Kerry. Finally, we have Kerry, and this is a very fashion forward kind of look, but again, these are great mix and match pieces to have in your wardrobe. Um, again, you can see the hairband here, but this time it has the pearl detail, really feminine and girly and just really pretty. And we went with the coat then as well, and the coat, again, as you, you know, it's timeless. This check pattern and um, this tartan pattern, you know what? It never really dates. It comes back all, every winter and it's really warm. It has your pockets, really glam. Kind of gossip girl vibes off it, isn't there? There's, it's very um, sort of informal, but at the same time, very, she's, Carrie looks so well groomed. This would perhaps not suit a lot of offices like Ursula's look earlier on. Mm -hmm. And yet there are so many people out there who don't have nine to five jobs and are rushing 
to it. meetings and dinners and whatever. Well, something like yourself, it's like that you could wear this in here, and you know what? You could team this skirt. There's cream polo necks. You could wear this with a cream shirt or a blouse or white. There's so many ways you could wear this and style this up, and that's what it is. It's very versatile, and that's what we want in the wardrobe. So then the boots, again, a sock boot, hugely important for autumn winter. They're going to go with everything. You could wear this look again with tights as well if you wanted, but really versatile pieces and really really glam. I, I love this, and I love the color combination as well. Tartan is everywhere. Absolutely, moment. it's going it's going nowhere, and as I said, it comes back winter after winter, so you'll have that coat for years. One last question for you. I'm bombarding your questions there, Rebecca Rose. Those pleated skirts in theory are absolutely beautiful. Yes. Are they better um, suited when you have a little bit of a higher waist on them as opposed to sitting on the hip? Because it can yeah, add so inches. This, this is a higher waist on this. Um, and you know what? Because this is quite, it's a leather material, this will fall really well. So you don't need to worry about being hippy at all. This will just flow over the hips. It's really, really beautiful quality piece. So for people at home looking to update their work wardrobe, what couple of tips would you give to them this morning? I definitely invest in a good coat. Um, especially in Ireland, we never know what, what you know what sort of weather we're going to have. So something like this, a nice wool coat or a trench or a mac. Um, as you've seen, Carl has that beautiful navy coat. N it'll never date. And you know, so a, a good suit as well. It really, you know, you can mix and match that with your blazer and jeans and things like that. And what about buying into trends or disposable fashion? Because after a couple of washes, they don't look as good. No, but you know what? They, those quality people, River Island's really pretty good for for washing as well. Um, and those, the, the, their investment pieces. That skirt again, it's leather. You won't need to wash it. Maybe spritz it with a little spray or something like that but um yeah you know what <clears throat> just wash it with a really cold wash and you'll have them for years rebecca rose thank you very much Back thank you later on with three more looks yes thank absolutely. you